Whoa, whoa, what the heck are you doing here, man? Nothing. I'm not really doing anything. What, you know how to see me? Um, no, no, it's just fine, but, uh, what happened to your voice? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, I had a little work done, you know, I had my voice changed around a little bit. The doctor over there is really great. Well, uh, that's great, man. I'm really happy for you that you had some voice surgery stuff. Thanks, man. Hey, do you want to get your voice to sound like this, too? Uh, no, thank you. Gotta go. Okay, then. I guess I'll see you later. Well, guys, that was my little attempt at bad acting there, but the whole point of this video is uh, today I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and change your voice for absolutely free. Now, I did a video a while ago where I showed you guys a TV bleep out effect, and I used the uh, voice sensation in it, and uh, a lot of people were asking me uh, how I changed my voice like that, and I also said I was going to do a video on it, so you can go ahead and watch that video. I got it right up there. And so, uh, yeah, so the whole point of this video is to show you guys how you can go ahead and change your voice to make your voice sound either really high-pitched or really low-pitched. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and change the pitch of your voice for absolutely free. Now, you are going to need a few things for this, and I'm going to cover that all right after this. Okay, so to go ahead and do this, you're going to need a few things first. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need, of course, a video clip that you want to go ahead and change the sound in. And you're also going to need an audio editing program and a video converting program. So to do this, I've compiled a couple of links for you here. The audio program that we're going to be using is a free program called Audacity, which I've shown in a couple of videos before. You can go ahead and download it from this link right here, which is audacity.sourceforge.net. Go ahead and download any version of this. Audacity is available for Mac OS X and Windows, so it's completely free and universal. And then the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a program that can convert video files to uh, audio files. To do this I'm going to be using a program called FLV Crunch for Mac, but if you guys are on Windows you can use something like Format Factory to go ahead and convert videos too. So here's the link for FLV Crunch for Mac, just go ahead and click here to download the latest version. It's a pretty simple uh, media converting program for the Mac. And if you're on Windows, go ahead and download a program called Format Factory and convert your video files to audio files. Just go ahead and download Format Factory from here. Once you have all of that done, you want to go ahead and have the video clip that you want to go ahead and change the voice of over here. So I'm going to be changing the voice of clip number two. So if I go ahead and play clip number two right now. Nothing. I'm not really doing anything. What, you know how they see me? It's just me basically saying nothing, I'm not doing anything. So we want to go ahead and take this clip and we want to go ahead and make a copy of it. So, but, And we're also going to make that copy into an MP3 format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch up FLV Crunch down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and change the format to .mp3, audio only. I'm going to go ahead and click Clip 2 and drag it in. And I'm going to make sure the destination is my desktop. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on Start. And here where it says done, as we notice over here, we have clip 2 as a video file and then clip 2 here as an audio file. Now we want to take that audio file and we want to edit it with our audio editor. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to load up Audacity and I'm going to go up to file and create a new document just because I need a new one open. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the project and then I'm going to hit import audio and then I'm going to go ahead and import our clip 2.mp3. Click open on that and then as you notice here it should open up to something like this. Let me just go ahead and full screen this. And so then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select over the entire audio clip like this. And then what we want to do is we want to go up here to effect and then change pitch. So here on change pitch, we can go ahead and change the pitch to really deep. Uh, but uh, for safety reasons, let me just go ahead and start from right around here. And uh, let me just go ahead and select this one area just to show you guys changing the pitch. Then I'll go ahead and select the entire thing. So let me just go up here to effect, change pitch. If I go ahead and lower it, quick preview. As we notice, it was a really deep pitch. Go ahead and make it a little high pitcher. And then as you notice, it's the normal deep pitch that I want. Now, here's high pitch right up there. 
and that's kind of annoying. So let's go ahead here. And well, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the entire video clip or audio clip, and then I'm gonna go up here to change pitch again, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the pitch down here to lower for the entire clip. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now it's completely changed the clip. So now we're gonna go up here to File, and then Export as Wave, and I'm gonna export it to the desktop, click 2.wave, click save, and then I'm going to go ahead and click no, and then as you notice over here we have our clip 2 video, clip 2.mp3, and clip 2.wave. So we can go ahead and delete clip 2.mp3 because we're not using that right now, and then what we want to do is you want to go ahead and open them up into a video editing program. So I'm going to be using iMovie for this, let me just go ahead and open up a new project, then I'm going to go to file, then import, and movies. You can do this for any video editor, I'm just using iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import my clip 2 right here, which shouldn't take too long. And here we go, clip 2. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the entire thing and I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my timeline. If it lets me drag, so I have it dragged into my timeline here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole clip down to the timeline again and I'm going to right click on it and go to detach audio. For other video editors, you want to go ahead and remove the audio completely and make the clip mute. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and import that clip2.wave format that we made before. So as you see here, clip2.wave. We want to go ahead and import that and layer it over the video. So I'm going to click and drag that and make sure that it's completely laid over our video track like it is over here. And then. Let me just resize the window here. If we go ahead and click on play. Nothing, not really doing anything. What, you know how they see me? If we go ahead and edit out some of those gaps there where I'm walking and you just keep the part where me talking, as we notice, my voice has gotten deeper and I changed the pitch of it. And you can do that for making your voice deep or you can make your voice high pitched. So you can go ahead and put in any of the effects that you want to using Audacity. And so anyway, that is how to go ahead and change your voice to either high pitch or low pitch for free inside of Audacity. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.